with the bright lights and the big city meets with a red guitar on fire. How you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out Desire by U2 from the awesome Rattle and Hum record. And this is a really, really good challenging one for beginners. If you feel like you've got your AD and E chords sorted out, then uh, this is a good one because there's a lot of very fast chord changes. Although there's a little trick that can make it easier, which I'm going to show you a little later on. So the main riff in this song is quite simply D, A, E, A, E. Is that all of the way through? D, A, E, A, E. D, A, E, A, E. Of course, up to speed. The changes get a little bit faster, okay? So if you're struggling with your chord changes, this isn't going to be the song for you. But if you feel like you're good, making good progress with your chord changes and they're feeling, you know, fairly comfortable to get the changes, this is a great one to really challenge yourself. And if you can rise to it, it'll really help you develop your fast chord changes because some of it's kind of mental. And if you, if you force yourself into playing a song like this, it can really lift your game up as far as your chord changes go. So it's definitely a good one to check out. Now, what the couple of interesting things going on here, first of all, is the rhythm. And the rhythm's really important. We're going to slow it right down now to make sure that we get that right. So the chord changes are happening on one, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, it's going to use it all down strums for now. We're going to change that in a second. But really important just to start you off making sure that you've got that rhythm right, that you're getting it on the right beat. So again, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? It's already a little bit, it's getting a bit interesting, right? But in order to play this correctly, we normally play and with an up strum, which will make the pattern down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. Now can you see what else has happened that's a little bit different? His hand keeps moving all the same now. So you can see it just moves consistently. Three, four, down, up, down, 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 up, down. See, this hand is just if I let it touch the strings, it's just doing this all the time. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. Making sure you get the chords in the right changes on the right beat. One, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four. Really important that you get that right, even if you're doing it really, really slowly, like one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, if you're not using your anchor fingers, you're missing a trick there, because the, using the anchor fingers there is going to really, really help you get that riff together and get the fingers right to the chord changes as fast as you can, because it's, you know, it's tricky, okay? Now that rhythm pattern, down, up, down, down, down. One, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three. Is also really good if you're struggling with it, just to practice, excuse me, this little muted thing. So wrap all your fingers around the string so you're just getting a muted hit and just practice one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four. And make sure that that Hand is moving consistently. That's the big deal, right? Really big deal. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and if you can feel like you can get that right, try the chords. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, once you're through that, you want to relax it all a little bit. And what I mean by that is don't be trying too rigid with it to play exactly those strums. And if you accidentally let some other strums in, that's okay. As long as you've got the chords changing on the one, two, and three, four, one, two, three. You 
can hear the little little clicky bits as I'm changing chords and sometimes the open string I'm strumming all the strings with no fingers on there after the A while I'm traversing to the E, okay? You know, there's all sorts of little sloppy things in there and that's okay. I'm not trying to teach you to be sloppy, but if you listen to the original recording, you'll hear some of those, those open strings kind of ringing out in between the chords and that's fine. So the only other bit that we need to check out really is the chorus, which is uh, going to a D chord for two bars. One, two, three, four. And then to A chord, and then back to the riff. It's the bit that goes with the red guitar on fire. Desire. Okay, now a couple of little things that are going to make it. Well, one quite big thing that's going to make it easier for you actually. Now on the original recording there's no D chord played actually. Edge is playing a thing called a D sus2 which is the same as a D only you lift off your second finger which makes the transition from the D to the A a lot easier because you don't have to get the second finger from on the thinner string all the way over onto the fourth string so it could just kind of hang out ready to go. The one to the E chord's not too bad. Okay, but it's really D sus2, okay, the... That's the chord. Okay, it's the same on the, when it goes to the, uh, into the chorus part, the red guitar. It's a D sus2. Really, really nice one to play this one. It's, it's really good fun. You are going to struggle a little bit to play along with the original recording. One, because it's quite fast, and actually they're tuned down a semitone as well. So if you want to play along with the original recording, you've got a few different options. First of all, you can tune each string of your guitar down one semitone. That's one fret. So you'll tune it to E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat from thicker string to thinner string. The easiest way to do that actually is to put a capo or capo on the first fret and retune your guitar to normal tuning with using a tuner and then take the capo off and then you'll be in E flat tuning. It's called E flat tuning, down one semitone. Um, but there's another option which I think is a really, really good one. Uh, if you want to splash out a little bit of money, there's a program I use all the time called Transcribe. If you click on the transcribing section on my website, you'll find a, a link to, to buy this software. I think it's 50 bucks, $50 uh, to buy. And it has the ability to uh, change the pitch of songs uh, without changing the tempo or the tempo without changing the pitch depending on uh, you know what you want to use it for. Uh, so the really cool thing with this one is that you can you, using this software you can put your mp3 in it and then tune it up a semitone so it'll be in constant tuning so you can play along with the original recording and if it's just a little bit too fast you can slow it down a bit too so maybe you slow it down to 75% or 70% or whatever you can play it at so you bring it up to normal tuning save you having to muck around tuning your guitar and then you can change the tempo a little bit to slow it down to make it a bit easier for you to play and I think that using this sort of transcribe software is fantastic so go and check that out in fact I'll add a link to the description if I remember and if I've forgotten to add a link please remind me and I'll um, and I'll do so um it's a really, really great song though for, for beginners. You know, it's tricky because the, the chord changes are kind of fast, but it's such a nice one to work on if, you, if you're feeling confident with your chords because it works on those chord changes so much, so often in the one song. It'll be a really beneficial one for, for your practice. So I uh, hope you really enjoy playing it and I'll see you for plenty more lessons and songs very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.